Hello and welcome to this short video in our ongoing series of tutorials on PaintShop Pro X4. In this tutorial we will explore the HDR Photo Merge tool. HDR or High Dynamic Range refers to different contrasting levels of darkness and light. Most DSLR cameras today come with a built-in HDR mode which will allow them to take multiple raw images at different exposure levels then stitching or merging them into one image. For others who do not have high-end DSLR cameras, they can still obtain the same effect with PaintShop Pro's HDR Exposure Merge. When you first open up PaintShop Pro X4, by default it will open up in the Manage mode. The Manage screen will allow you to view, rate, tag, and even sort your images. Now there are two methods for accessing the HDR tool from the Manage screen. The first way is to click on File, select HDR, and then select Exposure Merge. Now from this screen, you will need to click on the plus button found in the media tray to add your photographs. Now there are two ways that you can do it, either by selecting each image by holding down your control button and left clicking with your mouse, or you can drag a selection box over top of your images. Once you've selected them, click on the open button. And there you have it. Now the second way to do it, we'll just go back to the Manage screen. We will select our three images in the Media tray or in the Organizer tray. Again, by doing so, hold down the Control button on your keyboard and left click on each image. This way, you can left click or right click on the image, select HDR, and exposure merge. Now once we have the images that we'll be working with, we will need to prepare them just prior to merging them. In this example, we will make sure that for one, the auto select for the camera response curve profile is selected. Two, the alignment method will be feature based. Three, we will leave auto crop deselected. And then we will click on align. But first, we will need to make sure that all three of our images in the media tray are selected. Okay, now that's done. Now, off on to the left-hand side, you'll quickly see some brush tools. Now, just to quickly explain, they are used to blend in or out certain objects with different images. Seeing as how the tools are not going to be necessary for the purpose of this video, we're just going to bypass them. And then lastly, click on the Process button. Now this screen okay, uh, will show us the different exposure merges on the left hand side ranging from a high to low intensity light color saturation or even low contrast themes. On this screen you will be able to select the exposure merge you would like to keep. Again, we'll stay away from the custom editing for now, just to keep things simple. But the different options do allow for you to adjust the highlights and temperature, as well as vibrancy, which does give that extra pop to your images. And now I'm going to go back over the different options here. 
just again to make sure the one I really like and am going to select for the final uh, for the final image. And I'm going to select default one. And I'm going to click the process button once again. And that will bring us to our final screen where we can do some fine tuning to the image. Now you may recognize this interface as being the adjust screen. Uh, this will allow you to basically make any intricate adjustments such as uh, fixing local tone mapping and even red eye. Here I'm going to make some adjustments to the temperature to bring the blueness out in the sky as well as going to the brightness to darken the image a little bit. And there you have it. And there you have it, a picture with amazing contrast between different ranges of darkness and light with loads of vibrancy and texture. Again, you can use this tool with any picture type from a normal digital camera. And as a tip, try using a tripod when taking multiple images at different exposure levels. This way, the camera will stay stationary when making adjustments to the exposure settings. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out our other videos that are available in the Discovery Center. And if you have any ideas for tutorials or projects that you would like to see in the future, please email us at discovery.center at Thanks for watching.